I am back to you at pushing in ladder with a skill taking. I'm going to be running Archer and Fisherman in my deck for today because this Nancyan style is available. But if it was not, it's better to run this variation. Now without more talking, let's jump into some games. Alright, in game number 1 we are facing a skill thinking player that have reached 3k trophies. So it must be a tough one. The tile is available and the placement is really good for the archers. So surely I'm gonna use here on top of it and hopefully we can win this first round with the help of the demon tile. He is not using his tile. Okay. My archer is protected from his electro wizards. That's so nice. First sort of his king is down. And this must be a quick first round victory for us. The demo tile is just so broken. I'm just going to upgrade my electro wizard to the charge. I'm not going to spend any elixirs on top of my archer because he's probably going to take her down immediately. And that's the bowler. My skill thinking gets isolated which is not good at all. But somehow someway we were able to get the SK ability faster than him. Well, will that be enough to win? That's the question. And the answer looks like to be not. In round number 3, what I'm gonna do is pretty simple. Firstly, hooking his bowler with the fisherman. After that, going with a 3 star electro wizard. With that, my archer should survive and hopefully bring us the victory. Okay. My king this time is not isolated, that's what I like to see. His fair soul is down. His eaves as well is down by the ESK's ability and I guess we have secured this round for ourselves. Let's go guys. A one star musketeer, that's what we are gonna do in this round. Let's see which kind of surprise our opponent is having for us and looks like he's using his wizard. Okay, the wizard did the job for him for this round by taking down my archer but the electro wizard takes care of his wizard with the ability. Okay, I don't think things are looking pretty good for us. Only the Ewes is surviving and the business is definitely too much for him to handle. In the last round, he's still having one minute to use which I expect it to be the prince. So I'm not going to charge his wizard because he's probably going to protect him with his prince. And instead of that, I'm gonna charge the SK. Like that we can steal the aggro of his wizard and hopefully because of that my archer should survive i'm gonna as well upgrade the prince to the pony hopefully that must be useful for us all right guys are we going to win this one that is definitely not a prince by him but either ways we are not having any problems till now his wizard is finally down things are looking pretty good for us his sk as well is down and this must be the victory against this skeleton king player let's go guys ggs In game number 2 we are facing a BK player, it's been a really long time since I faced a BK. Well this matchup as well is going to be really hard because the tile is in the back line and it is possible for him to protect his archer infinitely. Anyways let's just cycle the fisherman and the prince and go like this in the first round. Let's see what he's going to do firstly. Magic archer on top of the tile, that might be even worse for us because marcher just goes crazy when he gets the boost from the SK's guards. Oh boy, is there any chance in the first round? And uh, no. Alright, in the second round, I'm gonna try to win as professionally as possible without using any of my clash abilities. So the plan is upgrading the electro wizard to the 2 star so that we can take down his marcher with the EU's ability. Can we get one electro wizard please? Nice, we got him. I'm gonna upgrade him to the charge, that will be so helpful for us. A 1 star magic archer, how much HP is? Oh no, he's having 5 HP which means 1 EU's ability will not be enough. But the guard, the 1 HP guard, oh my goodness, our saver in this round. That was so clutch by him. Without that, we would have really not won this round. There would have been a really great chance for him to win. In round number 3, the next tile has been spawned in there which means it is in the fisherman's range. So just because of that, I'm gonna use my prince to deal with his magic archer and for any mini that he's going to put in the next tile, I'm just gonna hook it. Let's upgrade the Eus as well to the 3 star because why not. The prince 
takes care of the magic archer and the archer as well. That was literally average Prince Muhammad. He's literally one of the best minis since the no movement came to clash mini. He really needs an air. In route number 4, he's probably going to use his prince to block my prince. So let's use the fisherman from now to deal with his archer. And for this 4 elixirs, we can put down an archer on top of the demon tile with the double shot as well. Actually, I really don't know where the triple shot of the match archer will go. So it will be a waste of elixirs without knowing that. I'm gonna scrap the archer for now and try to put him down in the next round after knowing the triple shot path of his magic archer. He used his fissure to block our prince, so we might be having a problem with his archer in the next round if he was having a prince. Okay, beautiful. Use ability, one more please, and his magic archer will be dead. Ewiz, please don't disappoint me. Nice. His archer is down. Come on, Ewiz, I'm believing in you. Let's go guys, Ewus with the clutch and ends this game right in this round. GG's. We are facing a shield maiden player this time. The tile is available too but I'm not going to use anything on top of it. Because the shield maiden's burn is just going to take anything on top of it down in some seconds. I'm just gonna go like this in the first round. Abandoned by him, interesting. His placement is so bad by the way, my king is just going to get some juicy isolations on top of him. And just because of that, we are going to easily take this first round. Alright, let's see which kind of surprise he's having for us in this round. Only the band to the 2 star? Bro really must learn not to give the SK the ISO value, otherwise he's just going to get destroyed. Okay, the healing ranger might do the job for him. Never mind, his maiden is still isolated and once again... His bandit just simply goes down like that. I think the game is over from now because bro lost his main damage dealers and Eus is just wrecking all of his minis. He must really learn not to let his maiden to get isolated. That was win streak number 9. Let's go for the last game to see if we can reach 10 win streaks. For the last game we are facing an ESK player. The tile as well is available in the back line so surely we are going to use the archer on top of it but in the first round I like to go with the electro wizard. The question is can we get him? Let's firstly do this. Well that was unfortunate so I'm just gonna go with the archer on top of the tile. He is using his electro wizard on top of the tile. Actually that might not be bad as well. I really don't like how my SK got isolated. Oh no archer is down and we are going to lose this one. Maybe I should have upgraded the archer to the double shot, like that we would have easily won. Anyways, it is what it is, let's just forget about it. Now in the second round, I'm firstly going to upgrade the archer to the double shot, after that going with the Ewis besides the SK, Fisherman just in case. Nice, I'm gonna upgrade the Ewis to the charge and the archer once again, but this time to the last ability. Hopefully with that we can make her HPs B5 after the demon tile deal. And hopefully with that, he must or she must not die with one Ewis ability. He is using his bowler. Oh no. At least I know that Archer's HP after the deal is going to be 4. Which is not enough to survive an Ewis ability. So in the next round, I'm gonna try to upgrade my Archer to the 3 star. Hopefully that will make her HP go to 5. In this round, well things are not looking that good for us. His SK is having 3 souls. And that's too much for the Electro Wizard to handle probably. In route number 3, alright the next tile has been spawned in there. I'm firstly going to use my prince to block his bowler. After that archer to the 3 star and Ewis to the first ability. He is going with a 2 star Electro Wizard on his own. Okay, archer takes care of the bowler. Our archer is surviving one Ewis ability which means her HP must be 5 and that was a really good victory for us. In the upcoming round he's probably gonna try to take down my archer maybe with the prince in the left hand side of his bowler so I'm gonna put down a musky right there to block him. Alright will our predictions be real? And no. That's a miner but luckily for us his miner is not upgraded so Oh no, Miner was able to hit the archer once and because of that the Ewis ability 
takes her down. We were able to get our Ewe's ability before he dies, but I really don't think so. That's going to be enough to stay in this game. Well, I guess I've made some mistakes. I should have upgraded the archer to the double shot in the first round. Like that, we would have had a better chance to win, but anyways, it is what it is. We learn from our mistakes. I was not able to get 10 win sticks, but I have reached top 4, and that's a W. So I guess this is enough for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.